So, welcome back to Splatoon 2. Here we are at the end of stage 25, and you see the switch right here? This is what you need to hit to get to the scroll. So first, let's bring the terracing thing all the way over. Once it's done, you just shoot the switch. It makes that. You shoot over here to this Octo Stamp DX. Let it do its thing. It's got a launcher on the back. And you just shoot your way down. And that's how you get to the scroll. And it takes you right back here. Got through that one with the Hero Blaster, which is great. All right then. That's the last of the scrolls that I needed to find for all of you. So, let's get back to Inkopolis. The stages should have switched around, so let's see what the new stages are. Yep. La 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 la. Check it. Here are the current regular battle stages. Moray Towers and Missile Muscle Forge Fitness. The membership to this place costs an arm and a leg. Yeah, but at least the arm and leg would be jacked. <laughs> Frank Battle Time. Tower Control at Port Mackerel and Inkblot Art Academy. This university sponsors some of our shows, so we can't really badmouth it. Our shows sell out almost as quickly as we do. Damn! <laughs> League battle time. Rainmaker at the Reef and Starfish Rain Stage. When's the last time we did a show here? We really need a new agent. Yeah, you do. And now a word from our sponsor. Grisco Industry is hiring. Apply now. Perfect. Till next time, don't get cooked. Stay off the hook. This is perfect because I need to do Salmon Run for you guys. So let's do some Salmon Run. Normally I do some Turf Wars, but I think Salmon Run will be the name of the game here. I'm looking forward to zombie mode. Hey kid, how'd you like a help of shit? Help shape the future of Inkopolis. Sure, Mr. Grizz. Welcome to the to Grizzco Industries. I'm Mr. Grizz. Here at Grizzco, we're trying to make the world a better place, see? And we need fresh young talent like yourself to do it. Yeah, it's just your run-of-the-mill manual labor type work, but it's for a good cause and we pay well. That's from what I hear. So, what do you say, kid? The next training boat is heading out. You ready to be part of something bigger than yourself? Sure. Let's go for it. Gotta go through the pay my dues, the turf war, and in salmon run. So, let's get it on. The new salmon run stage is gonna be coming in soon, so anyway. Lesson one on the job basics. All right, rookie, listen up. Vicious, unfeeling salmonoids will appear from the water. Your job is to splat them with ink to make them drop their power eggs. As a Green Crow Grisco Industries employee, you are contractually obligated to collect as many power eggs as possible. Here we go. Let's begin. Find the salmonids. There they go. Very nice. You just got some power eggs from splatting the salmonid. I'm counting on you to collect as many of those as you can. Back to work with some salmonid eggs. There's a big one. Hmm, 
Nice work, kid. You have middle management written all over you. Now here's the thing. The most important part of your job is to harvest the golden eggs. Only boss salmonids have those. Alright, cue a boss salmonid. On cue, a boss salmonid just appeared. Go hunt it down. Nope. Alright, frags. That's good. Nope, not over here. Hmm. There you are. Thanks for staying still. Mmm, yes, the boss sent me to its perfect golden eggs. Touch one to pick it up. Grizzco is a results organization. If you don't hit the golden egg quota each round, you're finished. Okay. All golden eggs should be taken to a, the egg basket. All right, that's one. Your total is three, so you need to get two more. Just head back to grab the other two eggs, huh? Oh, they got their eggs back. Wonderful. I feel the salmon is still in the golden eggs you've harvested. We'll get him. Don't worry. That slimy thief just stole my eggs. Next time that happens, spot it before it gets back to the water. Ugh. Go find me another golden egg. Huh? Sounds like one of your co-workers is calling you. Hello. Another sweet little egg. Communicating with your co-workers is a simple part of egg collecting. And that's how you help them. Always help your co-workers when they're in need. If, you're, if your entire crew gets taken out, you're finished. Press up to rally your co-workers or ask them, or ask them to help. Gotcha. One more. You're always on clock, so make sure you hit your quota before time runs out. Let's find one more golden egg. Now the clock is moving. All right. Reload. Three golden eggs. You've met your quota. Nice work. Now just stay alive until the end of your shift. Or you can collect more eggs. Ooh. Yeah, that's not staying alive to the end of your shift. <laughs> if you get splattered by a salmon or fall in the water, you'll wind up in the life ring. That's bad, if you couldn't guess. To get out of the life ring, one of your co-workers has to revive you with their ring. I'll revive you this time, but it's coming out of your paycheck. Yeah, I figured that. Now just stay alive until the end of the round. Alrighty then. I got a pay cut, but that's okay. This is just like Call of Duty Zombies. That's essentially what you equate this to. Oh yeah, I've also supplied you with two special abilities. You can use them while you work. Try not to waste them. Okay. No stealing, homeboy. Six eggs are good. Boss salmon alert. All right. Okay, that's enough training for now. Let's get you back to the boat. Alright, simple enough.
Six out of three golden eggs. Not bad, not bad. So, you get to work with different weaponry depending on your setup, so keep that in mind. Alright, halfway through game turn. Not bad. And there's a bonus meter involved. Welcome back, kid. Nice work out there. You have a bright future here at Grisco. I'm pretty sure you're ready for action, but I gotta put you through one more training course. Labor laws and all that. Yes, we don't want to enforce enforcement. Okay, so I just need you to read up this 338-page training menu, huh? Well, looks like the next boat's heading out, so let's just say you already read it. Yes, thank you. Sink or swim, I always say. You'll learn more training out in the field anyway. All right. I'm good, because I am reading 330-page manual. Besides, I say this a lot. I'm a quick study, and that's one thing you want to be on any job, is a quick study. Lesson two, increase in productivity. These, that disgusting boss sandwich you met last time was one of eight varieties of them. In this training session, you'll learn, you'll learn about the other seven types. Boss salmonids and you, steelhead. Here we go. This overgrown appetizer has armor all over its giant slimy body. It's also lobs giant smelly bombs. Listen close. Shoot the bomb on its head as it expands. With any luck the bomb will blow up, cooking the steel head in its own juices. Seven eggs to find. Alright. This is just like any textbook zombies. You walk around, oh lord. Yes, run. Ugh. That hurt. Skip. There we go. Next up, Boss Salmon is in you, Steel Eel. The giant snake eel thing is actually a vehicle piloted by a little salmon. In. Don't let it touch you, it lights out. The slimy pilot is appro appropriately located in the Steel Ear's rear end. You'll want to get behind it to take the pilot out. Alright. That's that thing that looks like that. W yeah. That's the one that looks like that thing from Kid Icarus Uprising. Boss Salmon is in you, Scrapper. This lily-livered skis ball covers its frail body and armor made of cookware, making it a tough enemy to take out. The trick is to get behind it, either by distracting it or attacking it until it's stunned. Okay. Nice. I like that one. That's the easiest one to deal with so far. Okay, next boss. Stinger. Oh lord. This spineless sniper sits atop of a tower, taking dirty pot shots at you from the shoreline. Attack the stack of dirty cooking pots to cut this baddie down to size. When all the pots are done, the stinger will be too. Let's use stealth this time. Ooh. Okay. Go put the egg in the basket. Remember folks, it's not wise to put all your eggs in one basket, but unfortunately for this game, or at least for this mode, you have to. Boss Samadid's in you, Maws. Oh god, I hate this one. 
This bottom feeding mouth breather follows its prey while submerged in ink and suddenly leaps out and swallows them whole. Just like the Octomaw boss from the last game. A good strategy for taking down Mars is to place a bomb on the spot she'll appear so she chews on that instead of you. better way of dealing with this is to outrun the damn thing. I think I'll outrun it better than just placing a bomb. But the bomb is just in case you can't outrun it, I can tell. Drizzler. This scaly scuzz nuzzle fires torpedoes that create ink clouds. When it's under its umbrella, your attacks can't hurt it. Oh, wonderful. Take your shot when Drizzler peeks out from behind its umbrella. You can also hit its rockets to knock it back at them. There you are. Crap. Okay, I take it back. That one's easier. Alright, gotta clean up some of this green ink. Fly fish now. This glorified mosquito flies through the air in an ink powered aircraft, letting loose missile barrages when the mood strikes him. Toss a bomb in, into both of its missile launches to take it down from the inside out. Oh, wonderful, it's a Tenta missile launcher. Okay, that's fine by me. That wasn't so bad. Definitely gonna have to work on this one. Well done, that wraps up your training. Okay then, time to go back to the boat. Not bad, not bad. Level up maybe? Hundred twenty one power eggs. Yep. Nice. Not bad. A lot of points until I super bonus. Congrats, kid. You graduated from the Grisco Industries Power Collection training course. Thank you. So go team up with some other workers to harvest some golden eggs and yada yada, change the world, blah blah blah. Look, kid, to be frank, you're still pretty green and you, know, and you need more training, but I really need you out in the field. Besides, when you're out there, energy wave is different. Just like the sea, there's no training for the sea. Good luck out there, kid. All right. Let's do a freelance round. Hopefully, one of my friends who did this ended up being by herself. So, let's see if I can find three more squids. Well, I found one. Okay, Blobby Bob. Ooh, that's the new Crayon Blaster. Okay, just don't give me the charger. You know, just that's all. Don't give me the charger. I'm cool with the other weapons, just don't give me the charger. So here we go. Let's take what I've learned and get down with my bad self. Also, if you guys have any pointers on how to be better at collecting eggs for Salmon Run, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for giving me the splatter shot. The egg basket is ready and waiting. Now go get me some golden eggs. I'll go over it. There you are. I'll take this one down. All right. 
slide it in. I actually like this music. Oh, it's the missile launching guy. Ah. I'll take this one. There we go. We've made our quota. Another boss? Who is it this time? Oh, it's that dude. There you go, dude. All right, we made it through that wave. Come the Papa. Next wave. And now I have to do the crossbow. Well, this is going to be my worst round. Okay. okay. Ooh, that's Mars. out. Miss me. Yeah, you get that one. Who's the next boss? Oh, it's this dude again. Yeah, get out the way. There we go. In we go. Yo, let me get this. Thank you. Not bad. Come to pop a little eggs. Now bring me more. Okay. Next wave. Clash Blaster. Oh yeah. I get to redeem myself with my poor bastard. <laughs> bastard. Blaster play couple of episodes. Oh, it's this dude. There you go. Alright, this crew ain't bad. Nobody's needed to be rescued. Oh, there's two bosses now? I'll take this one. Ow. Not too shab, not too shab. All right, you got that? I'll take this one. Okay, you can only carry one. Whoa, that was close. 
One egg at a time. Ah, I couldn't get that one in. Oh well. Crud. Well done. That's the last of them. Back to the boat. Alright. Not bad. I survived a full day's work out at the salmon run. Should have been 11 of 4, but I couldn't get my last one in here. You harvested 24 golden eggs this time. Nice haul. Now that's the type of performance I'm looking for. You have a bright future up here, kid. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Got a raise, too. Not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> if you guys have enjoyed me doing my very first experience on Salmon Run, remember to show your love, hit the like button. And as always, if you have any advice on how to go through Salmon Runs with a bit more proficiently, proficiency and to keep my teammates' backs out of trouble and in our proper colored ink make sure you let me know in the comments section below and as always if you want to see more of me doing salmon run here in splatoon 2 make sure you hit that like button turn on those multiple notes and subscribe it's all greatly appreciated just as every like and favorite comment and share is appreciated Raise your thumbs if you enjoyed this one. Now let me take my goose from the oven because I'm done. This month's gear is the Grisco Headlamp Helmet. So yeah, do enough, you get gear. Bye bye everybody. I'm going to get in a bit more salmon run practice off camera and see just how well I can do. Bye bye.